Hey guys, welcome back to Yes or No Item Reviews. My name is Omar. In today's episode, we're going to unbox, set up, and review the Sumgar Future Ball Wallpaper. And we're going to unbox it right now. That's all it came in the box. Come with an installation guide right there. The first step is to make sure you have all of the posters. Roll out all of them side by side so that you have a clear picture of them. As you can see here, they may obviously not be in order, but just roll them out anyway. We'll show you how to put them in order. It's honestly easy and self-explanatory. All right guys, so we arranged them accordingly, chronologically from one up to eight. Because when we unrolled it from the box, it's not like this. So make sure that this is one of eight, so this is number one of the top. Make sure it's top because there's one that says button, okay? Next is number two of the top. Three of the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight of eight on the top. So guys, what we did is, as you can see, we laid them over before we're gonna put here on our wall because so we know which one we will gonna adjust and which one we will gonna cap. So this one, I, I'm putting it starting here, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as you notice here, our page number eight has a lot of space. Look at that. If you notice that, like that, it's like this extra length. That's why we lay them over so we can cut it later and it will fit it here. So just, you need to lay them first so you have an idea of which part you were gonna cut and which part you're gonna adjust. So, right now, let's do paste them here. It's also a good idea to measure your wall because the poster is 100 inches in length and 144 inches wide. Knowing this information will tell you if it fits your wall properly. In our case, our wall is only 138 inches wide. So then we know for a fact that we have to cut six inches off of our poster. Before putting up the posters, make sure your wall is clean. No nails, no dirt, no gum, no boogers. If you don't clean, it won't stick as well. The tools that you'll need is your pencil, your leveler, your ladder, and of course, your one out of eight on top poster. Roll the poster down. Position poster where you want it, and now use your leveler to see if you positioned your poster straight. Make sure the bubble on your leveler is in the middle and adjust your poster accordingly. From here, you could use your pencil to mark where you want to mark for your personal guidance. However, instead of using a pencil, we personally found it more useful to use masking tapes to hold the poster in place while you straighten out your poster with the leveler. We believe that this method with masking tapes would really help you, especially if you're doing this project all by yourself with no help. After straightening your poster, you're now ready to use your water bottle to spray the back of your poster and spraying the wall too. Why am I spraying water? It's because this poster is not a peel and stick poster. All eight of the posters have glue material in the back of them. So once you water spray the top portion, simply stick the poster to the wall. Then get the red squeegee that was provided. We'll show you different angles of how we used it, but for now just know that you should take out the bubbles in the area that you sprayed. I found it easy to start from the middle and push the bubbles to the sides. If you don't have any bubbles, your poster will look awesome. Don't forget to swipe the other side and continue this process through the whole first poster. Now let's look at closer angles of the poster. So this is what it looks like spraying the wall and the poster up close. And as you can see, we used a lot of water. Don't be surprised if your floor is soaked. If you're worried, get a towel. Here is a way better angle of how we use the squeegee. Using the top to bottom motion just like this, and then using the middle to sides motion like that, works well too. Check out how good this method works. You'll start to notice that glue starts to come out. Don't freak out, that's normal. 
just keep going. All right, now we're gonna put the second panel right here. Making sure that it is number two out of eight from yeah. the top. Hey guys, quick question. Is this video helping you? If so, do yourself a favor by clicking the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so that you'll be the first to get notified to all the latest videos. Let's get back to the review. All right guys, before I continue, I just want to say right here on step number five, there is an overlap. And step number six right here, it says the underline part, using a straight edge and a sharp knife, cut down the middle of the overlap through both panels. Just want to let you know, we did not follow that because we were afraid we we're going to mess it up and there's only one copy of each poster. So we're going to show you what it looks like when you do not cut down the middle of the overlaps. All right. So this is the one, this is two. So you're going to put it right there and straight it to the line right back. Make sure guys that this will gonna match here and all the way down here. After helping my wife install the second poster, we noticed that we had to cut a hole where the wall outlet was located. Let me show you what I mean. So here's our second poster and on the bottom of the poster is our wall outlet. We'll show you how we cut it. You could use a ruler or anything that helps you cut straight. My wife happened to just use a squeegee to guide her in cutting the borders of the wall outlet. The poster is really thick material, so you might have to run your blade a few times to cut through it. However you choose to cut, please be careful and take precaution. After cutting your outline, press the edges of the poster to make it look neat. The third and fourth posters were easy to install because by now you don't really need the leveler and pencil. Your new guidelines right now is the line on the very top of the poster and picture of the poster itself. Also, we didn't have to cut a square around a wall outlet because we didn't have one where the third and fourth posters were. The fifth and sixth posters were pretty much the same story with the third and fourth posters. We had another wall outlet at the bottom of the seventh poster, but we still used the same process to install the poster on the wall, only using a spray bottle, squeegee, some napkins, and a ladder. Interpret it. So from there, it's about like what, 11 inches? 11 inches. So basically you just measure it and cut it. So we recorded at 11 inches, but she's gonna go a little bit extra just in case. And go 12 inches just in case. From there, I'm just gonna cut this so it's because it's hard to mark, you know, this shadow. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, that, that yeah. Shadow. That shadow. So I'm gonna follow this shadow because, you know, so I don't need to like ruler them all the way down. It's gonna be too much yeah. work. Yeah, make it easy, guys. Yeah. Our measurement went a little bit over the wall, but it honestly was not that big of a deal. The poster still looked great despite not cutting the overlaps. All right. So there it is. There's a finished product, you guys. The good is because it actually does look cool. The design is cool. And the quality of the wallpaper is really strong. As you can see, this is the paper. It's like very, very thick vinyl. It's very strong. Look, even I'm gonna squeeze it, that's how strong it is. If you're very manly and handy, and you like art and doing a lot of things, then it's okay. Other good things to add on the yes list is that the poster won't destroy your wall. The glue is soluble in water and is easy to remove if you have to remove it for any reason. And according to the company, the poster won't fall off due to its high quality non-woven wallpaper material. Finally, the good thing about the company is that you could actually purchase this poster in different dimensions. Some dimensions include 100 by 44, 100 by 50, or 100 by 100, just to name a few. I'll put the contact email in the description section if you're interested. But the bad thing is, it takes a lot of work. Yeah, I like it, it's very cool, but too much work. Another thing to add on to the no list is the fact that each poster has a 20 millimeter overlap 
which means you're supposed to cut each poster from the top to the bottom according to the instruction manual, which we did not follow. And as you can see, our poster still looks great. In our opinion, each poster should already be pre-cut and ready to go for us to use instead of worrying about that stressful instruction, especially for those who have no skill in arts and crafts. But at the end, it's worth it. Because you see, it's beautiful. It's really, really look like 3D, most especially when you're outside. I mean, when you're far. But I would highly recommend it's good quality. If you're looking for a good quality and you don't care about installation, then just buy it. If you want to learn more about the Sumgar 3D wallpaper, or if you want to purchase one for yourself, I'll leave all that information in the description section below. And please let us know your opinion on this item in the comment section because we would love to hear what you think about it. Also, check out these other clips that are similar and related to this video to the right of your screen. Until then, I will see you at the next item.